Bad news for New Zealand Stream Visa applicants. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video will be about Australia's new migration update regarding the temporary closing of NZ Stream Visas. In this video, we will also cover the update on the renewal of the six-month work limitation for working holidaymakers and Australia's new trade deal with India. Skilled Independent Visa Subclass 189 will be temporarily closed for new applicants from December 10, 2022, to July 1, 2023. Meanwhile, the Government of Australia will explore future migration and citizenship paths for New Zealanders who are already living in Australia. Only applications that have been submitted previously will be processed. Were you planning to apply to Skilled Independent Visa Subclass 189? Let us know your thoughts in the comments about this temporary closure. Great news for all the individuals who have previously submitted their applications. With a processing period of over 25 months, the Department of Home Affairs has planned to form a specialized workforce to complete most of the applications submitted during the closure. Visa requirements that have been removed as a part of streamlining measures includes Health Duration of residence in Australia Minimum taxable income it has been confirmed by the government that applicants who have applied for New Zealand Stream Visa are currently living in Australia with access to health. More announcements are expected to be made in upcoming months about the future of the immigration program and choices for New Zealanders. Removal of the six-month work limitation by the government. Earlier this year, in 2022, the government released the restriction of six-month limitation for working tourists. This made it possible for all of them to continue working in the same company even after a period of over six months. The relaxation period is again going to end on December 31, 2022, and the restriction for a six-month work limitation will commence again on January 1, 2023. The employment period before January 1, 2023, will not be considered. Australia's new trade agreement with India Australia-India Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement AECTA, commenced on December 29, 2022. When implemented, this agreement will provide the following. 1,000 subclass 462 work and holiday program visas for Indians of 18 to 31 years old every year, and eligibility for over three years on post-study visas to students graduating with first-class honours bachelor's degrees in STEM subjects, including ICT. Exemptions from the labour market tests are also expected to be available. However, we still need to find out when it's going to commence. All companies should continue to undertake labour marketing. Thanks for staying with us till the end of the video. If you want to know more about Australian migration, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates.